Hello YouTubers, it's Amy Technoid here, and here we are again back out in the living room service area where I work on a lot of my tape decks and such. And this is part two of the Tape Head Azimuth series that I'm doing. And you can see I still have the Pioneer deck hooked up. And I mentioned that I was going to use this deck as the reference point. And someone in my comments mentioned to check and see if the head had been aligned or misaligned or, or messed with. And the way you do that is by looking at the, the, the Loctite glue that they seal the heads with from the factory. And I did, and I took a picture, and you can see that the, uh, the green little glue that they put on the screws to adjust the head uh, is intact. So yeah, you can. I'm going to use this as a uh, just a you know a reference for at this point until I get a real true uh, alignment cassette, which they are not cheap, and I'm I don't see me getting one in the future real soon. So anyway, I'm going to use this deck based on the fact that it's adjusted from the factory and the head stack hasn't been messed with. Uh, presumably. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this deck out of the system and put in my Tascam uh, 122 Mark III and I'm going to use the tape that I recorded on this machine. This one right, this one right here, this TDK now that I have as the reference alignment cassette. Okay, so I'm going to use this as the reference alignment cassette and we're going to see where the Tascam deck holds up. Well, here we are back again, and I've got the Tascam 122 connected up to the Oscope, and I'm playing the tape that I recorded from the Pioneer in it, and you can see that there is a slight aberration between the perfect alignment, which would look like this, a straight line across, and the tape that's playing across the misaligned azimuth head. So you can see that things are awry and they just got worse it looks like because I was shifting through frequencies and uh, yeah as frequencies are shifting sometimes phase anomalies occur so uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to put my camera in the tripod and get into that little screw adjustment in there by the head and we're going to align this thing so it reach, reads a straight line during tape playback which is what it's doing now and that is directly through its electronics perfect alignment so yeah we're going to turn that into that okay so be back in a sec so now what you're looking at this is the tape being played back on the Tascam and you can see that there's a slight phase uh, anomaly there. It's, uh, it's not quite a straight line like it should be. It should be a straight line like that. That's the direct electronics. This is the tape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little bitty screwdriver I have here and tweak that little adjustment on the head where I showed you before. There's a screw in there. And I'm on the screw right now and I'm going to tweak and you can see what happens. Okay, I'm going the wrong direction now. And now I'm going to go the right direction and make it into a line. Now you see, that's a much better phase relation there. You can see the line, okay. And there are some tape head aberrations there, but that's normal for the tape. That's there is uh, the adjustment that I need. I need the adjustment just right th like that, okay. Now, what I did... Not that you don't ever let that little burn, but that'll burn a hole through your screen if you leave that light on like that. So, yeah, always turn it down when you get to that point. Um, what I did was I recorded two tones. One was close to the beginning of the tape, and the other one was later on in the tape, and it was a much higher frequency. And what I uh, found out was as the higher frequency goes up, there's more phase shifting involved. So there's a little bit more you need to do to get it tweaked, to just get it tweaked perfect. So I'm fast forwarding the tape now to one of those spots where the frequency is higher. Okay, and I'm stopping the tape. I'm gonna put it into play mode. 
turn on the intensity again and there you can see that that is where the phase anomaly comes in at the much higher frequency and I'm going to try and tweak that down okay because I'm pretty confident it's tweaked right right where it is now but I'm going to try and get this even smaller so watch as it goes so I made it worse try to get it back the other way oh okay that's pretty good and I'm making it worse it looks like there's that one happy sweet spot right there where it wants to jump in and out but it wants to stay and, that, and really I didn't move it much from where it was before so that looks about like the best I can get it I'm gonna blame the the anomalies on the wow and flutter tape surface and probably some old capacitors that just you know aren't quite up to snuff um, like they were 30 20 30 years ago so yeah what we've got is uh, we've got it so I what I did is I tweaked that little screw in there I think so you can see it that there's the little screw okay I had to take off the front faceplate to access it but uh, yeah so there we are we got a azimuth adjustment as good as we can get okay it's not gonna be pristine like that guy which is in internal electronics but the tape playing and that that's as good as it gets for this deck okay now I'm gonna pause now and I'm gonna go get another deck and I'm interested in getting it tweaked too I'm gonna show you that one so for now we pause now here we have an ancient of the ancients right here this guy was oh I bought this back not this one but I bought a model the model 201 advent back in 1971 I'm thinking it was either 70 or 71 I bought one it was a very serious cassette deck for me I uh, spent two hundred and eighty dollars on it and this is a model I got from eBay okay so this is just a museum piece to me a mem memorabilia but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tape the alignment tape to adjust the head on this guy okay but here's the issue I have to get to the adjustment look at this hole here that they give from the factory is way too tiny I don't have a screwdriver that would fit in there so what I'm gonna have to do is take off the cover and then align it and then put the cover back on but I will do that uh, off camera and be back when the cover is off now you're looking at the Advent 201 with its cover removed its front cover and I've got a tape loaded in okay and it's in there and it's ready to be played it's ready to be ha have the head aligned and there's an alignment screw right down in there and that's the one I'm going to tweak okay I'll tweak that one and get the head in proper phase alignment with the with the tape and we'll see what happens on the oscope and why the oscope is so critical to making this azimuth adjustment getting in there close to look at that screw in that head okay so what I'm going to do is look at the screen here and I'm turning on the advent turning it on okay and turn up the intensity on the screen and now okay you can see it's making the pattern but it's out of phase so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find this little screw find that little screw in there okay where is it up oh, there it is I'm on it I got the screw okay now watch what happens when I tweak oh baby look at that we are in phase we are in phase yes and that's about as good as it's gonna get I'm gonna leave it right there cuz it looks you know it's trembling in and out but uh, yeah that looks good to me so we are good we are good to go yeah baby so I've aligned my Tascam I've aligned this Advent 201 using this cassette and uh, success it's been a success so anybody who has an oscope and a tone generator and a cassette deck that they can trust or a specific calibration cassette you can align your tape decks to have proper azimuth and from there then you can adjust your levels your biases and all that and everything will be up to snuff so that's the end of this video and until next time 
See you later.